Hey everyone, it's Rachel again, and in this tutorial, I'll teach you how to color a realistic jack-o'-lantern using the Color Therapy app. In the app, you can find many pumpkins to choose from to color. You can also make your jack-o'-lantern happy, cute, or creepy. In the spirit of Halloween, we're going to make this one creepy. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to use this image here, and we're just going to focus on this guy right there. So let's go into the color palette and choose some colors. Go under the vibrant palette and then select solid and you want to select three colors, a light orange, a medium orange, and a dark red. Then with the light orange, just tap to fill in the jack-o'-lantern. Go under dark shades two and then select solid and choose a dark burgundy red color. And then last, go under the basic palette, make sure it sets a solid, choose a light yellow, a red, and a black. Let's start off by turning the eyes upward to make them look more creepy. So let's go under the manual mode, select airbrush. Set the size to 1 and opacity to 65. Make sure coloring inside the lines mode is set to off. And then with that dark burgundy, you're going to draw the eyes. So I'm going to make it straight facing the nose and then kind of curving upward and then coming down as a triangle and then matching it on the other side. And then just raise the size a little bit and you just want to color in that area that you just drew with the dark burgundy. And then just refine those edges by using the pen tool. Size 2, opacity 80. It's making a nice crisp outline. And then with that light orange, just fill in the white area from where the other eyes were. And then just tap to fill in burgundy into the nose and the mouth. Now go under the manual mode, select smudge tool, set the size to 35 and the opacity to 60. Now turn coloring inside the lines mode to on and using red, burgundy, and light orange, you just want to start to shade in the pumpkin. So I'm going to do it a bit darker towards the top and the bottom of the pumpkin. And then kind of when you get near the eyes again, you need to turn the coloring inside the lines mode to off. You can add a little bit of red underneath it. And then you can turn it back on when you do the other areas. So then I'm going to use the light yellow and just add it into a few areas around the pumpkin. So now we have a lot of texture. Now go back to the airbrush tool. Just leave the settings the same. And I would use the burgundy and the bright red. And with coloring inside the lines mode set to on, you just want to just trace the lines a little bit around the pumpkin. So I'm kind of just bringing them downward, just tracing those lines. And then I would lower the size a little bit down to about 10% using your burgundy and just trace again another layer. Now let's go back to the smudge tool. Set the size to 14 and the opacity to 24. And with black and coloring inside the lines mode set to on, just shade a little bit inside the mouth. And I'm just focusing on the upper area mostly. And we're doing the same thing on the eyes, but turning coloring inside the lines mode to off. So now we have some shadow and you can also apply to the nose. Now let's add some highlights. So with the pen tool, set the size to two and opacity to 60. Zoom in to one of the cavities and turn coloring inside the lines mode to off. Using a light to medium orange, to sort of trace that area right at the bottom of the eye. And then go over that with a lighter yellow. So now we have a highlight. Then you'll do the same thing on the other side. And we're just going to highlight just one area. You can also use the darker orange to sort of blend it in a little bit more. And then for the nose and the teeth, make sure coloring inside the lines this mode is set to on. And you'll just do the same thing. For the mouth on the bottom, we're just going to show the bottom teeth. So you'll just add an edge on the bottom inside and then bring the teeth out a little bit like so. So we're actually seeing the pieces of pumpkin inside. And then you can also use burgundy just to draw little lines where the teeth are coming out onto the pieces of the pumpkin there. And then last, I'm using a mixture of light blues and greens and blacks for the top of the pumpkin. So select the smudge tool, size 23 and opacity 27. And with coloring inside the lines mode set to on, I'm just going to add in some watercolor looking texture to the top of the pumpkin with those colors. And then I'm going to shade with black bottom and that's it. Don't forget to remove the lines. You can also draw your own in the app under Pixel Drawing Paper. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store. 